The only problem with watching these clips is it makes you want to watch the whole movie all over again. It really does. Um, in The Natural, you played... Uh, we're going to get a lot of applause like that today. Uh, in The Natural, you played a truly idealized character. Uh, did you find her real? Could you, could you uh, sink your teeth into this character as a three-dimensional figure? I actually could, because mm -hmm. when you think about it, she was, she had gotten pregnant by him. Mm -hmm. She was unmarried. He disappeared. She had made her way, staying single in Chicago with a young boy. At that time, was it the 30s when that movie? Mm -hmm. Um, really stigmatized, really stigmatized. Um, and it, it, it was interesting to me, the scene where he comes to my apartment, um, I basically throw him out because I don't know if I want him to meet our son because I don't know who he is anymore. Mm -hmm. So I actually found her very real. Yeah. Then and it was really, really disturbing that I had to throw Robert Redford out of the apartment. <laughs> <laughs> a notable event, especially in the 1980s. I yes. know, I mean, he's so gorgeous. Uh, and then again, uh, another role, I, I don't like that word iconic because it gets overused now so that it sort of lost its meaning. But if it ever had meaning, it would, it would certainly apply to your part in Fatal Attraction. Uh, uh, the uh, people who play people, actors who play villains or somebody perceived perhaps as a villain uh, never see themselves as villains of course uh, you don't judge a character you play you have to portray them as you know, as real people how did you see that woman? well I still, to this day, probably did more research about that character than any character I've ever played. Really? Because I wanted to understand her behavior. Mm -hmm. And when I read the script, I loved it. I read it in one sitting. Uh, my, my temperature, I, I was cold when I you know, got to the last page. I was so f uh, focused. But I wasn't sure about the bunny boiling. That seemed to me you know, really too much. Um, I went out and I actually auditioned for that part, which is a whole other fabulous story. But um, when I got the part, I, I took the script to two different psychiatrists and I said, number one, I want to know if this behavior is possible, and number two, I want to know what would cause it. The extraordinary thing to me now, and you know, I have a foundation that works against the stigma around mental illness, the extraordinary thing that with me, well, thank you, but is that no one mentioned the fact that she might have a, a, some sort of mental disorder. Um, but what the character that we created, which I think would have created, anyway, was a woman who as a child had been incested by her father over enough years to really, really uh, disturb her profoundly. I mean, that kind of abuse. Uh, I, I studied what that meant, that you're not able to have a satisfying relationship, that you're made to be a sex, sexual object long before you even know what sex is, um, it be and you loathe yourself, loathe. And people like that usually, if they're going to do anything, they are self-destructive rather than uh, psychopathic. So that was the woman I was playing. And for example, I'd say the scene where, she's, where she is spying on the family and, and the little girl's being given the rabbit, she runs and throws up in the hedge. And I thought, why would you do that? And he said, well, if she'd been incested as a child, one of the triggers would be to see a child that same age with the man who forced her to do oral sex. It would make her throw up. Mm -hmm. I mean, things like that. So I, 
I ended up um, with great compassion and empathy for that character. Then they changed the ending, the original ending, she killed herself, which if that was gonna happen, I think that's what she would have done. And, but they, the people were so upset by that um, and by the fact that he went to jail uh, because his fingerprints were on the knife. Um, they, they, they changed it and they put a gun, no, they put a knife in my hand and um, made me into a but this, a was, this was no small matter. Uh, this was oh, a big decision. It was to go back and spend a lot of money to reshoot a whole section. They of did, the and I fought against it for two weeks. Mm -hmm. Two weeks. I, and I've told this story, and Michael, Michael knows. I, we were sitting around a table with Stanley Jaffe, one of the producers, and Adrian Lyon, the director, and Michael was there, and I was furious, and I said, what if they did it to your character? What if they did it to you? What would you say? <laughs> what would you say? <laughs> and Michael leaned back and said, babe, I'm a whore. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, then I, I didn't know what to do. I finally, funnily enough, I called Bill Hurt. I remember this, and I said, this is happening. I'm fighting against it. It goes against everything that this character is. I feel like I can't. It's, it's betraying this character to make her into this, this somebody would kill somebody. And he said, you know what, you've put, your, you've put up the fight. If they're not gonna release the movie without the new ending, you owe it to the company and to the director and your fellow actors to go ahead with it. So I did, but it was hard. And, but they were right. And I think why they were right, and this is, it was a great lesson for me, is that after such a disturbing film, the audience needed catharsis. That was the word I was thinking. Yep. Yeah. In that you start with order, some, something comes and, and there's disorder and mayhem. And traditionally with the Greeks and with Shakespeare, order is, is restored through bloodshed. Mm -hmm. And that's cathartic. That's helping the audience feel that they're going to be all right, the family's going to be all right, and life can go on. It's a very American ending. <laughs> Yes, it sure is. So let's take a look at this next two, this next lineup, which is The Natural, a Barry Levinson's film, followed by Fatal Attraction, right here. <laughs> 